In this video, we'll learn to compare two quantities using percentages. So we've got 32 out of 90 and 13 out of 40. Which one is greater? So we'll do 32 out of 90 and 13 out of 40. So 32 divided by 90 can use a calculator and that gives us 0 0.35 with a 5 recurring so this is the same as 0 0.355 and so on and 13 divided by 40 that gives us 0 0.325 so we'll convert these to percentages this is 35%, but looking at the digit after the 5, which is 5 again, so that means we need to round up. And this is going to be 0 0.36, which is the same as 36%. This one here is 32.5%. Percent, which we can round up to 33%. Comparing the two shows that this is greater. So we've got now two shirts, the red shirt and the blue shirt. There is a discount in their prices. So this one was £15, it's now £12. And this one was £36 and it is now £30. Which one has the highest discount? So we'll go 12 out of 15, which gives us 0 0.8. So that is 80%, meaning that there's been a 20% discount. This one is now 30 out of the 36 that was the original price. Gives us 0 0.833. So the three is recurring. So that is about 83% which means the discount is about 17%. So as you can see, although there's been only a £3 discount, that is 20% of the price of roll, 20% of the original price. That is 20% discount. Whereas here, there's been a £6 discount, but that is only about 17% of the original price. Now, you could have also worked out the difference or the discount, which is £3, out of the 15. And that is 0 0.2, which is 20%. So that gives us the discount as a percentage right away. And here, £6 is the difference. So 6 out of the 36 which gives us 0 0.1666, so the 6 is recurring, and when we round it up, that gives us about 17%. So we have a great discount here with the red shirt. Here is another example. If you sell two products, one of them costs £18, and you make £5 profit for each one you sell, and another one costs £12 and you make £3 profit for each one you sell. So which one works out better? So 5 out of 18, which is 5 divided by 18. And that gives us 0 0.2777. So 7 is recurring. And then that is 
3 out of 12, so 3 divided by 12, which gives us a quarter, or 0 0.25. So that is 25%. This is about 28%. So this one works out better.